CBS7's Jennifer Samp has been in Gardendale since early this morning talking with people in that area. She joins us now live to describe the devastation. Jennifer. Jay Tatum, the winds were so strong this morning, it picked up one of these horseshoes and slammed it against what this windshield. It's one of the many scenes that we've seen today. The morning sun shined light on the aftermath of the deadly storms that ripped through the small town of Gardendale. Family members like Caden Hall and Crystal Navarrete took cover after hearing their roof peel off their home. Just kind of huddled in the hallway and just hoped that for the best, you know. Hall says his first thought was his 22-month-old daughter. Debris was already flying through her broken window when he got to her. She received minor head injuries. Well, we could have lost lives. Yeah. You know, I could be missing my little... <clears throat> We could have lost our daughter and we could have lost his cousin. Their cousin, Colt Martin, however, was staying in an RV directly behind the house. At 125 miles an hour, the winds threw the RV along with the 24-year-old inside 50 yards away. Family says he broke parts of his back and neck and punctured his lung. Oh, yeah. Non-stop. There was a lot of pain. Non-stop. The family is now in the process of rebuilding the home that once protected them from the worst storm of their life. God was looking out for us. And looking for a positive light, Hall says he has his family, and that is where his home truly is. All this, you know, we can rebuild all this stuff, but, you know, you can't replace a life. So I'm glad that we're all here together. The National Weather Service says judging by the layout of the debris, they said that they can determine whether it's going to be a tornado, a gust nato, or even both. But we won't find that out until tomorrow. For now, live in Gardendale, Jennifer Samp, CBS 7 News. Jennifer, thanks. Last night's storm damage has many people wondering if it was caused by a tornado, a gust nato like you just heard, or high winds. Here's what Chief Meteorologist Greg Morgan had to say. Uh, there was a barn uh, that was uh, located on the property here that, that was moved in a direction that I didn't anticipate. So it's not to say that there wasn't a brief spin up, maybe along the gust front, maybe like a gust NATO, which they do have the potential to you know, destroy barns and, and things like that. Uh, but most of the damage uh, is, is in a one direction uh, fashion, which, which lends support to a straight line wind event. Now, other factors that will be determined for the cause include how uh, the structure was built and also how much damage was caused as well as wind gust speeds. So it was a scary situation, scary situation there. Yeah. The question is, are we going to expect more showers?